Hey, check out this girl here. Great picture, but she wants her glasses removed. How do we go about it? About a year ago, I did a video on Generative Fill when it was still in beta. Now the Generative Fill is in Photoshop and we have the magic of the Remove tool. We have two ways of doing it, but which one's better? Hmm. Problem with using any tool to remove glasses is how it might distort the face or the hair or something else on the face. But let's see how the Remove tool and Generative Fill now in 2024 will do. All right, let's see how the Remove tool removes glasses from someone's face. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer and we'll call it Remove Tool. Enter. So let's go over here and let's grab our Remove Tool. Now let's zoom in a bit here. Now up here, I've got Remove after each stroke unchecked. I never have this checked. So it can give us our best options. So if we go over here, let's make our brush a little bit bigger. If you go around, keeping the cursor right kind of in the middle of the glasses here, let's get a good selection. All the way around. This is the issue. It wants to select everything, which is a cool feature, but not for this. You can hold your Alt key down and kind of get back what you want, but that's a pain. So let's undo. Let's go around the clock. We'll start at 12 and go to nine, lift up, go to six, same thing. Go to three, let's grab the nose piece and go back to 12. Dab, hold your shift key down, perfect straight line. Now let's grab this and then we'll start over here. 12, 9, 6, 3, and back to 12. There's a little bit over here. Now let's grab the arm over here. Now, if you want, you can hold down your Alt key and let's make the selection a little bit better. We don't have to have a lot of it, but let's make sure that the selection is a good one for you. Let's clean up this bit about here. Now that looks like a good selection. So next thing we'll do, oh, let's get the nose piece here. Now let's hit enter. Remove tool, do its thing. And bam, the glasses are gone. There's a little section here that needs to be fixed. So let's make our brush a little bit smaller and just go over here and fix that. Enter. Same thing over here. It's a little bit of stuff. Enter. Now let's zoom out. Wow, glasses are gone. Before, after. Before, after. Cool, good looking stuff. All right, now that we've done the remove tool, Let's turn that layer off. I'll go back here, select your background. What you can do is make a copy of the layer if you wish. Now, what I like to use, once we zoom in a bit here, I'm gonna hit B for the brush, make sure that our flow is 100% and that I'm painting with black over here. Now let's hit the Q key. We're gonna do quick mask. Now, if you don't have a cursor, you can go up to edit, preferences, and cursors and put it right here. Show crosshair in the brush tip. I like to have it there just for an option to get a little more accurate. So let's do the same thing, except we don't have to worry about doing going all the way around. And let's paint away here. Let's grab a bit of this. Go all the way around. Close piece, dab. Shift button, make a perfect straight line, grab this piece. And then once again, we'll go all the way around, grab the nose piece, move it over there. And now we've got our selection. Now, the cool thing is though, if you want, 
it looks like it's a bit much around here. And in here, we might be attacking the hair. So, hit your X key to paint white. And let's make this selection a little bit better. I want to have a, as much stuff not changing with the face as possible. So, let's clean our selection up. That looks pretty good. Hit X for black again. And hit the Q key. There's our selection. So let's go up to Generative Fill, type in the word Remove, Enter. It'll do its thing. And here we go. Let's zoom out a bit. Looks unreal. There's number one, number two, and number three. Number two, number one. I'm digging number three. It looks like it's the best selection. So what we'll do is we'll remove number two, number one to keep file size down. Now let's check things out before, after, before, after. The only thing that kind of really changed was a little bit of the hair over here before, after, but we can fix that later. Now let's compare it to the remove tool before, after before after to me it looks like that the remove tool did less damage to the hair but i'm still going with generative fill on this it did an amazing job of removing the glasses she looks great well there you have it in comparing both of them they both did an amazing job in this situation i think generative fill worked a little bit better than the remove tool, but the remove tool is just amazing and did a hell of a job itself. Check it out. If you've got a picture that needs glasses removed, check out both of them. See what they do for you. If this tutorial helped you at all, please like and hit that subscribe button for more tutorials on Photoshop. I'm Don from Photo911. See ya.